beautiful. What if we stayed here? Started a family here? Are you serious? <laughs> I can't believe it. My children are geniuses. Is Oliver in heaven now? Life's lost meaning. What if I could bring your son back to you just one more time so that you could say your final goodbye? There's an abandoned temple. It is said that the door of the temple is the key to the world of the dead. You will be able to speak to your son, but no matter what you do, you must not open the door. Mommy. I miss you so much. I miss you too, Mommy. I have to go now. Please, Oliver! Oliver! So, do you guys have a favorite ghost story, be it in film or in literature, something that, that terrified you? Yeah, I mean, for me, absolutely. I live and breathe this stuff. So, mm -hmm. I mean, and it's in this movie. You know, Woman in Black, the the original okay. uh, story and the original TV movie. It's mm -hmm. the only thing that made me, I don't know <laughs> many people have seen it, but it's the only thing I have absolutely screamed out loud at. Really? Uh, yeah, I literally. Uh, my brother was uh, in, they used to uh, play it on Christmas Eve. And I was in. Uh, what a horrible thing! To yeah, do. it's a British thing. Ghost Stories, Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas! Yeah. Fuck up the kids. Yeah, we uh, play Christmas Carol. You guys play <laughs> Woman in Black. Same thing. It was, and it's like a really creepy. I mean, it looks pretty dated now. But I, I was in one room, and, uh, and my brother is in the other room. You know, we're both like sixteen or something. So we're not like super young. And there's this one scare where the ghost comes over the bed, and. He screamed and I screamed like properly, like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, the Women in Black. I adore, uh, you know, Stephen King. That's very much a part of this, mm. and I just love ghost stories. I think, and and Monkey's Paw. You know, mm. it's not really a ghost story, but you know that kind of stuff. What yeah. about you, Sarah? I mean, the I uh, the horror space is not one I can spend any time in because it's scary. Okay. Um, but the the ghost stories I grew up with, I grew up in Hawaii, and so there was mm -hmm. a whole mythology about. Um, night marchers, and you know, we were we were taught in grammar school what to do if you hear the night marchers, and it was I mean it was really interesting. It what never, would you do? You have to put your face down and cover your eyes because if you um, if you make eye contact with them, they steal your soul and you die. I mean, this, this is it was, we never spoke about this. <laughs> no, we didn't. But the crazy thing is, it never occurred to me to think of that as mythology until I went to college on the mainland when I was eighteen. Right. And someone starts talking about Hawaiian mythology. I was like, it's not mythology. You just don't want to die because the night marchers. <laughs> I they? sound like a crazy person. Yeah, I love this. Um, <laughs> they're the the spirits of the departed, usually the departed kings and their entourages, and mm -hmm. their spirits walk through. And you hear the pahu drum. You hear the drums, and you can see the light sometimes. So. I mean, I guess that was my introduction like to ghost stories. But I believe them. That's why they scare me so much. Is because I'm like, no, no, they're really going to come and yeah, kill me. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of mythology, how much research goes into Indian mythology when you're crafting this sort of? Yeah, a lot, story? a lot. You know, we we spent. He made it. Yeah, I, made it. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. No, no, uh, but we did. You know, I um, I for a, for the, this probably took two years to from writing to mm -hmm. to starting to film, and yeah, we researched a lot um, so it has bits of like the Agoria real okay uh, that's a real uh, um, religious sect in, in, in India um, the do you spend time with them? Do you like? I, I, you I, I don't like, tend to hang out yeah, with yeah, too yeah, many yeah, Agoria. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Um, but the, yeah, and all great the, at yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh like, they just dead. stand there yeah. and point. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just every, I just have my own personal one now. Oh, of here, course, pointing at you. Uh, but yeah, I, I, we tried to to uh, myself and Ernest, the, the, my co-writer, tried to you know really steep it in 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 realism. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with the design for the Murtu? Is that what yeah. it's called? Um, I, I just found that image okay. always terrifying. I don't know why I just found, it, it's like a grief thing. Mm. Uh, it's, and you know, when you see a, a weeping angel, it's, like, it's, like, it's very, a grief I find quite just, it's a disturbing topic anyhow, I think. Mm. And so that was that was always in my mind. And then I love Javier. I, I'd seen some creature tests with him before on, on, on Mama, and he's just, he does crazy, <laughs> crazy stuff. 
and so it was yeah that it sort of sort of came from there really well great thank you so much that creature looks great oh thank you very much